the streets of Cayenne in French Guiana and uh, I know I think there's a big rain cloud coming the other direction that we're going to so I better stay close to some roofs and oh, what are those ladies over there and uh, stay a little dry one of the cool little squares with mini cannons right in the middle there and over there you see the threatening clouds yep like all places down here seem to have a fortress i found one in cayenne let's enter it and check it out so this one does not look so well kept there's a couple of buildings here and a little Kind of wooden watchtower or something like that. To which I present to you Cayenne, which is the capital of French Guiana. And French Guiana is actually part of France. So while I'm technically not in the European Union, I am in France right now. I drove from France uh, to France from Canada. How cool is that? Well, there doesn't seem to be too much left of this fortress. It's mostly just, you know, overgrown and here and there you see a few rocks still. But it's a strategic point, I guess, because it's high up and uh, you can see who's coming. But uh, not very well preserved at all. Here's the view. Just in case you're wondering where I am. That's where I am. Yes, on top of the hill at the old fortress. So we're just leaving through the pretty much seemingly only preserved part, which is this little tunnel to leave this fortress again and hike our way down again to Main Street over there. Time for a little walk in the park. It is a palm tree park in France, of course. Let's see if we can find some French cuisine as well tonight. Yeah. So I found another place in French Guiana to replace a tire. My rear tire is uh, has kind of worn a little quicker than I expected and as you might be able to tell I actually have new tires with me but those are off-road tires and I'm still doing asphalt paved roads here and they're just gonna wear much too quickly so I uh, have a, a Dunlop Trailmax tire here that's gonna be put on and, uh, and we should be good to go for a little while again. So from Cayenne we ended up taking off to the place of Kuru, where the actual uh, space center is. This is owned by the ESA, which technically I'm part owner of because one of the owners is Holland. And as a Dutchman, technically I'm one of the owners, right? Anyway, we went to check that out to see some rockets, European rockets in French Guiana, South America. <laughs>
Uh, well, we made it to the uh, Space Center in French Guiana. And uh, I was gonna do a tour, but I didn't book on time, so I can't. But I'm gonna be able to drive around the property a little bit. And, uh, you know, here's the first rocket. And here's the uh, uh, Space Museum. So let's have a look at that and then see what else we uh, can find around here. Well, sadly, the museum is also closed, um, but they give me a little map so I can ride around the property a little bit and see some of the buildings or launching pads or something like that. So we're just gonna try that out and uh, see what's here. Kind of fun to have the rocket in the background though. All right, so they have a road that is public that I can ride on that will show some buildings of uh, rocket assembly and stuff like that. Um, I probably took the wrong exit because I guess I tried to get uh, onto this terrain, which is, you know, obviously secure and private and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're just going to try it one more time. Rocket, here I come. these days so um, I don't know this is uh, the outside of it a little bit so this is just one compartment of the rocket I guess pretty big though and then there are lots of flags of course and then over there in the distance I guess that is what the launching pad was or has been so can't get much closer because we all see all these fences there's a lot of barbed wire and you need badges to get in there so this is as far as we get bike with a rocket all right we just had two gendarmeries police coming to me and they're going to escort me out of this area not supposed to be here okay that was interesting i was told i couldn't join a tour of the space center but I was able to drive down Space Road, which I've been calling Rocket Road for some reason. Anyway, this is a public road until you get to a fence from where it's a restricted area. So I drove to the end of the road and, and there was this big rocket on the side, which I checked out. Then two gendarmes police came racing towards me. See that car over there? That's the police, the gendarme that is escorting me off the public road. All right, and asked me what the hell I was doing there. <laughs> Oops. I guess they realized after interrogating me for a bit that I'm not a spy, I had to ID myself, and then they told me they were gonna escort me back to where I just came from. Uh, fortunately, they didn't make me delete any of the footage that I'd already taken, but yeah, a bit confusing because I was told by several people that this road was public and I could check it out. I even checked out with them after that, and apparently these police officers were just a bit bored and, and overzealous and uh, just uh, wanted some action. So you see those islands over there? Those are the French Guiana Salvation Islands. And some of you might be familiar with the story of Papillon. Um, these islands, they used to be prisons. And I'm gonna try to go there tomorrow, but uh, because they're very, well, there's a lot of history there, obviously, and apparently a lot of wildlife too, so we're gonna try that out. And then, um, see, see them up close a little. So let's check out what this little lighthouse is all about. It's on this big rock. 
uh, just on the coast of French Guiana, in a place called Kourou, um, from where you can see these Salvation Islands. And uh, it's not very tall, as you can see. Well, I found a hotel for the next couple of days because tomorrow I'm going to check out the Salvation Islands, the former Alcatrazes of uh, French Guiana, and uh, check out this view here. This is the view from my room. Nice little bridge, lots of greens, and the rest of the hotel. So we got up early today and we are getting on a catamaran to take us to the uh, Salvation Islands. It's called La Roulotte and it is right over there. So come with me and let's explore. <laughs> 